It's important to be aware that the mind is going to overcomplicate things because a confused mind does not take action. So if you're confused enough, you're not going to take action. You're just going to keep dreaming about moving to another country or starting a YouTube channel or enrolling clients into your amazing business that could really help them. You're going to keep putting it off if you're confused. So my intention of this video is to make sure that you get very clear and empowered to take action on what it is that you're here to create. The only thing that I have found in working with countless, countless clients, students, the only thing that stands in the way when you dig deep is what other people are going to think. What are people going to think of you if you make an offer and charge for your healing services? What are people gonna think of you if you get visible? Who are you to share your voice? What are people gonna think? What are people gonna think of you if you fully go for it and leave the past behind and let yourself live the life that you are called to live now? What are those people from your past gonna think? Or what are, what are all these scholarly people gonna think if you're speaking on a certain topic and you don't have a doctorate? but you have another form of insight that the doctors don't have. What are people gonna think? So this is what I see with clients over and over again, but I wanna dispel this. First of all, notice if this is true for you. Just get out a piece of paper. Number one, what do you want? Get very clear on what you want, okay? It's from your heart, not what you think you should want, but what your heart really would love. Like, I knew I wanted to move to another country. I knew I wanted to work from anywhere in the world. I knew I wanted to help clients heal their lives and turn their passions and their healing abilities into something that sustains them so they can live, create whatever life they want. I knew I wanted to publish a book, I did it, but all of these things have come with of course, the fears of what if I fail? What, and when you look deeper, what's beneath what if I fail is what will people think if I fail? You see, it's not the fear of failure that gets us. It's the fear of what people will think if we fail. But that's not it either. Oh, we got to drill deep, 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 deep. Like this beautiful ocean, you go deeper out and it is going to open up a whole world out there go deeper and when we go deeper it's what will I think about me if I fail you see we're running from the pain of our own self annihilation the pain of our own self rejection is what stops us from going for it now here's the trick if you can master your ability to stop hurting yourself or criticizing yourself for not being perfect, which is one of the visibility blocks. It's called the perfectionist headlock. It's connected with the crown chakra. I go deep into this in confident visibility school. If you do it messy and it's average or you flop or whatever, and you can find your way to feeling safe in your body when those things happen, because they will, <laughs> because it's part of success is falling a lot. It's part of it. It's the most beautiful thing. If you know, if you have the right mind and the right relationship with your nervous system and you regulate your nervous system, which is something I teach, how to become your own safety. When you do, it doesn't matter what happens. You just know that you have a vision, you keep moving towards it and you celebrate yourself. So I'm gonna give you an example. <clears throat> a client the other day just did something really profound. She has been in my membership for a while and she just gave her first live talk to moms. She is an empath, she's super sensitive and she helps sensitive moms to find their confidence and stop doubting themselves. And she does this really beautiful work. And she did her first talk and people loved it. And someone came up to her at the end and like was so curious about it and they gave her such great feedback. And this is the wisdom that she has now. Instead of just moving on to the next thing or berating herself because it wasn't perfect or because she didn't book a client from it yet or whatever, she said to us in the membership, I just want to savor this and celebrate my win. She said, I just want to really let my body take in the huge win this has been for me. 
And this I give to you. Her wisdom is profound, right? And I often say, savor your wins, digest your wins. When you do something courageous, drink it in. That is your success. Not who likes it, not the accolades, not the metrics. It's that you did it. You're one of the few people who's going for it. And so this is the narrative I share with you. This is the narrative that will help you to start releasing yourself from the only thing that holds you back, which is what others will think. Because if you can go to the deepest level and be okay with yourself, no matter what people think, no matter what the result is, you'll be able to be consistent and continue moving forward, which is a huge part of success is consistency. It doesn't matter how slowly you go, as long as you keep taking action, doesn't, it's not about speed, it's not about velocity, it's not about any of that, it's just about having a clear vision and going for it and not giving up. You just keep going for it and you're good to yourself in the process. So there's a lot more I can say on this topic. Uh, make sure to grab my gift below if you wanna go deep into this. And if you want to clear some of your energetic blocks and feel confident no matter where you are or who you are with, the gift below will help you with that. It's a class, a master class. Uh, it's free. And if you haven't already subscribed and you want help like relaxing your nervous system, going deeper um, so that you can share your gifts and go for your dreams with confidence, be visible with confidence, you can subscribe. I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, ding, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go swimming now. <laughs> Get this water. Oh, is that not incredible? None of this could have happened if I let my fear of other people's opinions stop me. It is something that we get to master to live a remarkable life. And I'm committed to helping you with that. All right, my friends, I love you. Bye.